Welcome to another session of circuits and networks. In today's two port networks class 13, we are going to see hybrid parameters, especially the problem which is dealing with dependent sources. So here you can see phi V1 can be written as voltage dependent current source. So this is the problem given to us and we need to find out hybrid parameters. If you all you are going to see about the two port network classes we have dealt with different numericals and different examples where we have found out the impedance parameters which are also known as z parameters then we have found out the admittance parameters which are also known as y parameters followed by transmission line parameters also known as abcd parameters and we have dealt with not only the normal, normal numericals but also the numericals which are involved with dependent sources. So this particular class we are going to see a voltage dependent current source and especially we are going to find out the edge parameters for the following circuit. So we need to find out the edge parameters. First we are going to see the standard equations for edge parameters. So these are the two standard equations of edge parameters and what we have to do? Uh, we have to take the output port. We have to short circuit it in order to obtain uh, H11 and H21 and later we have to take the input port, we have to open circuit it and we need to find out H12 and H22. So it's a standard approach. So we are going to solve the problem with the standard approach itself. So when the output port is short circuited, from the standard equations of V1 I2 we are going to get V1 is equal to H11 I1 and I2 is equal to H21 I1. So when we are going to short circuit the output port, this is how the figure 1 changes to figure 1a. So as V2 is equal to 0, since it is output is shorted, I2 flows into the circuit and it is going to be dependent upon I1. Moreover, we have 5V1. So this voltage dependent current source depends upon the input voltage. In fact, the input current. Okay, so what we can do with this particular circuit? I'm going to employ a node whose voltage is V, and just I'll employ KCL at this particular node. Then what I'm going to get? So assuming this node to be at higher potential, the equation can be framed as V minus V1 by 2 V minus V1 by 2, this is one branch current. Then you have phi V1, in fact this is the current which is dependent upon the voltage and it is going away from the node, that's why it is positive V1, that is phi V1 and you have V divided by 2 is another branch current, I am assuming V2 get higher potential, in fact I2 will be equal to minus V by 2 or the branch current which is shown in this figure on the RHS side is just V by 2. So this particular KCL equation we have employed at node V and we have framed equation 1. Also we need to concentrate on the branch current of I1. I1 direction it is shown in this direction. It is moving from V1 to V. Then I1 will be equivalent to V1 minus V by 2. This I am treating as equation 2. And as already we have discussed about I2 direction, I2 will be equal to minus V by 2. So these are the three important equations what we have framed by observing KCL at figure 1a. Let me repeat these things. From 1 we got the standard equation. So I am going to modify this equation and I am going to get V in terms of V1 as minus 9 by 2. Also, from equation 2, I have I1 is equal to V1 minus V by 2, which will give you the value as V1 minus V equal to 2 I1. And from equation 3, I have I2 is equal to minus V by 2. So let me treat these new equations as 4 and 5. Now, substituting equation 4 in 5, we are going to get V1 plus 9 V1 by 2 is equal to 2 I1. 
See, I have substituted this 4 in equation 5. B is equal to minus 9B1 by 2. So this minus and minus will go as plus. And this is how it goes. B1 plus 9B1 by 2 is equal to I1. Thereby, 11 V1 is equal to 4 I1. In fact, H11, which is known as input impedance, when output port is short circuited, whose value is nothing but 4 by 11 ohms. So here I am treating this equation as 6. Also, when I am going to substitute equation 4 in equation 3, I am going to get I2 is equal to minus V by 2. This is from equation 3. And what is V? V is equal to minus 9 V1 by 2. So this minus and minus will get cancelled. In fact, I am going to get 9 by 4 V1. But V1 is equal to, from equation 6, it is 4 I1 by 11. So that is what I am substituting over here. So that I am going to get the current gain, which is equal to H21, when output port is short circuited as 9 by 11. Since it's a gain, it doesn't have any units. And let me treat this equation as 7. So by short circuiting the output port, I got equation 6 and I got equation 7. Hence, H11, H21 is obtained. Now, when input port is open circuited, we have to make I1 is equal to 0. So from figure 1, we can change it to figure 1b like this. You can see I1 is made equal to 0. V1 is the measurement of voltage across this voltage dependent current source that is 5V1. And you have I, I2 which is flowing into the circuit because of V2. So this is the original circuit and we have already the standard equations. Let us find out the values of H12 and H22. So I am going to apply KVL in anti-clockwise for this particular loop which is shown over by this arrow which is flowing in anti-clockwise direction. The current which is flowing into the circuit on this loop is I2. So I am going to get minus V2 plus 2 I2. And you have 5V1. So that is the current which is flowing in this loop. So minus 5V1 equivalent to 0. In fact, V2 will be equivalent to I2 minus 10 V1. Let me treat this equation as 8. Also, I am applying case here at node V1. Node V1 is over here. So the node voltage is V1, which is assumed over here. So you have V1 minus V2. V2 is parallel connected to 2. All divided by the resistance is 2. And to the same node, you have the another branch current, which is 5V1, flowing outside the node. So plus 5V1 equal to 0. So here we have employed the KCL. The current is 0. So with this, I am going to get V1 equal to V2 by 11. I am treating this equation as 9. So now I have equation 8 and equation 9. I am substituting this equation 9 in equation 8. So that V2 will be equal to 2I2 minus 10 V2 by 11. In fact, V2 plus 10 V2 by 11 is equal to 2I2. In fact, 21 V2 will be equal to 22I2. So H22 will be equal to I2 by V2 at input port as open circuited, whose value is 21 by 22 moves. Since it is I2 by V2, it is admittance. In fact, it is output admittance at input current is equal to 0. Let me treat this equation as 11. And from the careful observation of equation 9, I have H12, which is nothing but the reverse voltage gain, which is given by V1 by V2 at input current is equal to 0, whose value is nothing but 1 by 11. So this I am reading as equation 11. Therefore, the H parameters for this particular circuit will be 4 by 11, 1 by 11, 9 by 11 and 21 by 22. In fact, this particular H parameters can also be determined with the help of admittance parameters, transmission line parameters and Z parameters. So we have discussed all the methods in our previous classes. Please follow the normal approach as well as the substitution approach and the conversion approach in order to find out the other parameters and compare the result with H parameters. Let me give you this as a homework for this particular class. 
So in today's class 13, we have dealt with H parameters and we have obtained the H parameters for this particular circuit, which is equivalent to this particular value given by this matrix form. I hope you like this class. Please share among your friends and subscribe to this channel. And please stay connected to this channel by pressing the bell icon. Thank you.